at navigatingthehealthcaremaze.com. Jeff, it's so great having you back with us in the Exxon, my friend. Um, how would you like to finish off this hour? You know. Well, I, I think the, uh, I appreciate that. Um, and first of all, I would like to uh, say hi to everybody that's listening from around the world. Uh, I think we all see the same kind of situations. There's no perfect mm-hmm. nirvana anywhere in the world. But I, I do believe that uh, the VA system in the United States is a good, a really incredibly um, a bitter almost uh, level of bureaucracy that's gone on for treating people that uh, have served overseas for us. I mean, but we, I think that's number one. Number two, it's got to be fixed. It's a short. It's not a short-term fix. It's going to take years to fix. And I, then you drift, drift into, will it really ever be fixed? Um, as thirdly, I think uh, the, the bureaucracy that's gone on in the United States and a variety of parts of not only of government, but also companies is mm-hmm. going on. Uh, nobody wants a status quo today in the United States. Um, I, I hope to goodness we get out of it. I don't think we should be... Um, uh, kind of being the world savior, um, I think uh, we're we're, miss, we're at the same time of doing that, trying to to the rest of the world. Right. Our own right. country is going down. You see, yeah. if, if what I would like to see is number one, the space. Uh, you know the the amount of money that is being spent on on that space exploration cut completely, and that money go towards the needy, the hungry, the homeless. Improving education as as well as giving money to to putting money into the into the VA to help the veterans. Let's pro, let's set, let's take care of the problems here on this planet first before we start going and exploring into other planets. That's that's my opinion. Well, I I uh, politely disagree. I think we have to um, uh, ex- continue to explore innovation. We and. I think that's in terribly important to our future. If we had status quo of just trying to just do things here, I think there's a two ways. It's got to be two ways. We've got to take care of things here, but at the same time have a balance of looking to the future. Like any company, if you have one product, mm-hmm. uh, you go under. You've got to have something coming down the pipe. Right, but, right. But, in, but in any company, you take care of the employees. You make sure that your company is strong and firm, and if something is weak, you make sure that the attention is focused on that weak link because one link, one very weak link can ruin any country. I'm sorry, any company. And the same thing goes for a country. The other, the other thing I'd like to bring up here so before we finish is that uh, rather than have, uh, I mean, Shinseki uh, uh, was in fact, uh, 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 he did his time and is a war hero. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But is it right to have somebody in that kind of a role leading the largest healthcare company, if you want to call it that, in the United States, yeah. uh, rather than a businessman? No, no, I think that a businessman would have uh, done a lot better than putting somebody in there just because he was a general in the military. And I think that has been one of the cases that you could put forward, not only one, but many yeah. in, in other governments that have come through. You put people in places because of rather than their the total abilities to, mm-hmm. to do that. So overall, as a taxpayer in the United States, I'm troubled. I'm troubled because I want to see more transparency of what's going on, and I want the correct facts. Am I asking too much? Absolutely. Hey, Jeff, we've got to say so long for tonight. I want to thank you so much for joining us. Always a great pleasure talking to you, and I look forward to the next time you join us here in the X-Zone. X-Zone Nation, Jeff Knott has been my guest this hour, www.navigatingthehealthcaremaze.com. I'll be back on the other side of this commercial break with the news at six and a half minutes past the top of the hour as the X-Zone continues with yours truly, Rob McConnell, from our broadcast studio and center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Don't go away now.